Today we're playing Cologne, uh, or Cologne, whichever way you want to pronounce it, and their badge features what appears to be a goat climbing a cathedral. But don't let that fool you, because that cathedral is contained within a type of ball, and that goat's pushing that ball pretty well. So maybe we should be worried. <laughs> Good evening, let's get into some football manager, shall we? Um, so, since you last joined me, I've been doing a little bit of work trying to get the finances under control. What I've done is started off with the most obvious thing, which is to look at the squad. We've got loads and loads of players, and the question is, is there anybody that we can get rid of? There's been a few annoyances. Zhang Yuning, the perpetual annoyance from uh, <laughs> from the last video he has a contract thirty thousand pound a week which is four percent of our club's total wage bill and we can't cancel it which is an absolute pain in the arse also ishak belfodil hang on let me oops whoops sorry about that let me just switch this view so you can see just how bad this is <laughs> so yeah look wages zhang yuning is the sixth highest paid player at the club which is ridiculous because we're not playing him at all um i don't mind about these guys because they're all getting they're all getting games you know but zhang yuning's not getting any games so it's really annoying it, my plan for him is either chuck him in the under 23s or start trying to give him some game time and i might try and give him some game time I, the, the problem is i can't really give him cup time because I'll, I'll get onto this in a minute, but actually the cup is something I want to concentrate on this season. So quickly moving on, a couple of others. Ishak Belfodil is a very, very similar situation. He's on 22 and a half a week and he's not playing either. Same situation with him. I'm going to have to try and give him some game time. Uh, Barkfrieda, I've listed him. Hopefully someone will come in with him and then we can get rid of 14 and a half K a week, which will only just make a dent on the finances, but um, it, it's a it's a start. Now, the other big news, um, <laughs> which is a little bit uh, maverick of me, is that I have terminated the contract of my assistant manager for a fee of 400k, which is stupid. But the reason I did it is because um, the stuff that I rec recruited at the beginning of the season, basically, um, let me go off that. Uh, this one, sorry, Terry Burton was actually intended to be assistant manager. And for some reason, I think when I, when he was signing his contract, um, I must have missed the fact that he was signing as a coach instead of an assistant manager. So annoyingly, there was no way of me promoting him to assistant manager. So I thought, well, maybe if I get rid of my assistant manager, that'll allow me to, to promote him. Or they'll at least say, well, you haven't got an assistant manager. Who do you want to make your assistant manager? But nobody's said that at all. And when I go to offer him a new contract to try and to try and sort this out, obviously he doesn't want to discuss it because he's only just started a new contract. So that's annoying and potentially right shit. I mentioned there about our oh, kind of aims for the season. Oh, I mentioned the the cup, and I think that that's got to really be one of our aims for the season now. We're shooting above our weight at fourth, which is great, but I don't expect to stay there for the for the whole of the season. And I think that the board expectation of top half is actually a pretty good one. But I think we might be able to do something in the cup. The annoying thing is we've got Bayern Munich next, as you can see. Um, and that's actually our next game after this one as well. But I think trying to do something in the cup, trying to sort out the finances, and potentially trying to bring some youngsters through and trying to find a, like a standout striker and maybe tweak the formation to make it a little bit more attacking as well should probably be my aims for the season. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to go for anyway. So today we are playing Cologne or Cologne or whatever whatever way you want to say it. Um, there's their lovely stadium. Their manager is Peter Stöger. Let's have a little bit of a sneak peek at them. Uh, key player Jonas Hector. Who's this guy? Attacking fullback looks okay. He's got a decent amount of pace on the left side. So 
bear that in mind. Who have they got up front? Cordoba. Not too bad. His finishing is only 11. Oh, hang on. He's injured. Uh, he's out for between eight, eight days and three weeks, so he's not going to be playing. Um, so who are they going to play? Let's have a look at their, at their squad. Take that back off, off uh, that view. Oh. Oh, God. No. Ugh, right, let me explain. Claudio Bizarro, who's quite good. Um, he's getting on a bit, 39 years old. But he's still got 18 heading, heading 15 heading. He's got <laughs> 18 heading, 17 first touch, 15 finishing, 15 flair, off the ball 19, which is good considering he's so old and slow. 18 anticipation. He is a pretty good player still. Um, and the reason that I said, oh shit, when I saw him is, and you might have already seen down here. Uh, let's go onto the history to see it properly. Uh, so last season he was playing for us. I wasn't, I wasn't manager then, but um, yeah, last season he was playing for us. So, I mean, he only scored one goal actually. They scored two goals this season so far. So actually, he probably will be playing in what formation? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at what formation they might possibly do. Uh, team reports tactics. Okay. I, I mean, it looks like they're probably going to do a 4-4-2. It looks like they did that 4-1-4-1 because they were playing against Dortmund, who were a decent side. That's what it seems like anyway. Team reports last match. Uh, look at the analysis. Oh God, it's always weird how that comes up. Okay, so yeah, like we like we established four one four one, but it looks like focus of attacks pretty even left and right. It's well, it's totally even across the board basically. It looks like I mean the heat map's showing them mostly in the center here, but I suspect that's probably them getting pinned down by by Dortmund, who who look to be sort of flooding the center there. So that's probably them just struggling to cope with Dortmund's pressure. So that doesn't reveal much, really. Not that much use. So I think what we'll do is probably stick with our usual formation, not make any tweaks to it, and just, just see how we get on. We're going to assume that they're playing 4-4-2 rather than a 4-1-4-1, I think. That's probably safe to say. Um, unless they see us as a massive threat because we're fourth, but oh, I doubt it. Okay, so let's let's get going. Let's get into the, the team selection. So, one thing that I might do that we've discussed in the past is get Johannes Eggestein in. Oh, no, who do I bring him in for? I'm going to take him in for Belfoddle, actually. So, this is the, young, this is the youngster who um, is showing a little bit of promise and I think could be a good player. So, we want to get him in. We want to get these lone players out well do we i don't know we want to get them out i don't know you're gonna to have to leave some comments in the uh in the comments below because i don't know what to do about this do i go with my youth and try and bring my youth on and, and, and get them more experienced or do i try and get my money's worth from the loan players that i've got in that are costing me a fortune it's a, it's a tough one anyway we're gonna we're gonna stick with, with what we've got here um, and we'll see how we get on. Right, teams are warming up. Here we go. Yep, 442, as we said, Claudio Pizarro up there as well, which is a little bit worrying because ex team members always tend to score against you, a football manager. Um, okay, we're the favourites. Go out there and give the fans to, something to cheer for. Hand over to assistant. We haven't got an assistant. Mirko Votava is our assistant. I don't know who he is. Let's give him a chance to speak. No, he said nothing interesting, so we're off. Um, Miguel N Angel Nadal has recently been sacked from his role as assistant, assistant manager. How do you expect things to develop going forward? I've got no fucking idea. I don't know why I did it. Um, I wanted to go in a different direction. Yes. It, let's just take what I just said and, and change that to... I think uh, everyone's going to be better off because of it. 
I don't actually think they are. Okay, we've kicked off. We're kicking from left to right in the green. Leandro Castanza Kainz to Grujic. Grujic to Johansson. Let's see if we can get a kickoff goal, which um, rarely happens. Hirovic Kainz. Grujic. Go on. No. Can we bollocks? Oh, maybe they can though. No. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Oh, so it's going to be like that, is it? You're going to boot it over the top. Kainz, what the hell are you doing? Falling all over the place. What's going on? Nobody's had any shots. Ten minutes in, no one's had any shots. Here's Bartels. Grijic. Tinozovic. Johansson, shoot! No, Grijic. Harovic! Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, I thought that was lobbed over the keeper's head then. Here's their star man, Hector. Oh, no, Pizarro. Okay. Oh, Castan's injured. Shit, what happened to him? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, no, that's not good. Okay, who are we going to bring on for Castan? Let's go for... Calderol is a bit knackered. In fact, let's try Delaney. We need to fit him in somewhere, and if he can play well, ball playing defender is probably best for him. Uh, let's just just stick him on ball playing defender. Defend. This could go tits up. Um, in fact, let's just on top of this, let's just sit a little bit deeper, just because I'm a bit worried. Um, okay, let's 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 try that. Okay, Drobny with the goal kick to absolutely nobody. And there's Bittencourt. Bittencourt? Is that Nuno Bittencourt from 90s rock band Extreme? Heinz, Baked Beans. I don't even like Extreme. I've, ne I've, I've never liked them. I don't know why I even said that. It's a load of bollocks, isn't it? Uh, Johansson to Bartles. Get it in. Oh, you tit. Yeah. No, I don't even like Extreme. Um, but, uh, you know, I, it just reminded me of him. <laughs> I haven't even heard his name for since the 90s. Here's Clemens. Not going anywhere. Back to Sorensen. Herger. No, they're just passing it around, doing nothing. Booting it. Delaney picks it up. Delaney. Nice one. Right. No, why is the goalkeeper booting it? Sacco. It's Delaney. Oh, Grass and Gear podcast will be pleased. They've got a Japanese player. Drobny makes the save. If you haven't listened to Grass and Gear podcast, I highly recommend it. Here's Clemens. Oh, close one. Clemens again. Right, something bad's happening here. They're absolutely battering us. Let's give a bit of encouragement. Bartles, Grujic. Grujic to Johansson. Is he offside? Looks like it. Yeah. Bauer, Bauer to Grijic to Bartles. Bartles to Kainz. Kainz back to Grijic. Here's Inozovic. Bartles. Come on, let's do something with it. Johansson. Not too bad. Two shots each so far. Zorro, Clemens, Hector, Asako, no, no, is bit and caught again, yes, nice one, Hirovich, get in, come on, oh, no one there, I'm going to have to do something about this, it seems like, no, okay, it seems like they're getting in behind us a little bit, and it seems like we've got no one up front, which we don't have, apart from Johansson, who's always offside. So, oh no, 
Pizarro. Oh, Delaney. Whoa, Delaney could be the new <laughs> the new first choice centre back. Hirovic, Grijic, Inuzovic, Bartles, Grijic, Johansson. You're never going to score from there, Johansson. What are you playing at? Show some passion. And also, um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Pause, pause. Why haven't I paused it? Ugh. Um, I want to, maybe I should use the offside trap. Let's try that. This is very risky because they're getting in behind us already. No, we don't want to use the offside trap. Maybe we'll go much deeper. Let's go deeper. Okay, here's Grijic. What can he do? Inuzovic, Grijic, Bartles. Yeah, we're having a lot of long shots. I think we need to be more patient with our build-up. We need to work the ball into the box rather than rather than just keep twatting it. No, no. Oh. Okay, right. Let's just see this. Right. Um, work ball into box. See if that makes any difference. Well, telling them to show some passion didn't make any difference. So what difference is working the ball into box going to do? Oh, do my head in. Right. Team talk. Tell the team they're expected to prove a point today. Good point. They don't care. They don't care. What am I supposed to do? Let's see if there's anything we can do tactically. Uh, well, Delaney's still come on and done okay. I'm pleased with how he's doing. Um, the ratings are not particularly good. We could try and mix things up a little bit. Let's try. How's Bartles doing? 6.5. Right. Let's bring Traore on there. And let's see, what's he? Um, yeah, we'll keep him on the same. We'll keep him on the same role for now. Um, and let's let's just see how he does. This could be a mistake. I mean, he's a young player. He's got a lot of room to, a lot of potential. Um, there's room to improve. Um, but he's one of those who has. He'll either have a really good game or he'll have a really crap game. And the problem is that's quite an important position for us because it's the only way that we're linking our um, midfield to our attacker. So that could have been a mistake. Unless he's amazing. Oh, he is! Hirovic! No, he's not. Offside. But that was a nice idea. Come on, more of that. Moisander to Delaney. And Delaney is a really good player, so I'm glad that he's fitting in there okay. I didn't want to have to play him as a centre-back. Oh, what are you doing? That was a foul. This Clemens is doing my head in. No. Ooh, get it off him. Yes, Bauer. Oh, yes, Delaney, come on. Hirovic. Delaney's been a revelation this game. Here's Inuzovic. Kainz. Traore! Would have liked that. Come on. 50 minutes gone. A second, I need to get some... Uh, some information up here. I need... My player ratings... Yeah, Johansson's not doing great. I think, unless Johansson does anything soon, he's coming off. Traore, come on. Oh, God. All you had to do is kick it in the goal. Here's Pizarro. 
Oh, the danger man. Horn. Hector's on his own. What are you doing? Oh, ho, ho. <sighs> you idiot, Hector. Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. No, he's going to score. No. Okay. Show some passion. Definitely show some passion. Oh, drop knee. Good save. A little glitch to the save there. I think he sort of jumped about 20 pixels to save it. Kainz, Triore, Grijic. Give it to Triore. Yes. Inuzovic. Oh. Come on. Watch Pizarro. Watch him. Clemens. Oh, no. No. Oh, okay. Right. We need we need something else here. What can we do about this Bauer? Johansson. Yeah, Johansson's coming off. Although that was pretty good what he just did, but um yeah. Kainz, Griege. Treore. Him on the wing, him on the wing. Griege to Treore to Johansson. To Treore again. Kainz, Augustinson. This is good passing play. Come on, keep it up. Oh, Johansson, Yunuzovic, must be. Oh, what a save. One-handed dive to the bottom corner there. Yunuzovic finds Kainz. Oh, who blasts it over. But that was, that was more promising anyway. It's seven shots to seven. We've had more possession. Come on, we can do this. Right, I'm going to go attacking, I think. I'm going to go attacking, and then I keep threatening to bring Johansson off, but I'm going to see what an attacking mentality does before I bring him off. Let's just see this first. Gustinson, Kainz, Grujic, Inuzovic, Triore, Grujic, Inuzovic, shoot! Okay, attacking. That was nice play, though. I mean, that's that's what I'd like them to do more often. Just keep passing it around like that. There's no rush. As long as we've got the ball, they haven't got the ball. And they can't score. So, you know, it'd be nice if they didn't score. Here's bit and court. To Heinz Beans. Ooh. Yes. Bauer, Inuzovic. We're starting to show a bit more passion. I, I feel like it's coming now. Come on, 70 minutes in, let's have a goal. Kainz. Grijic. Traore. Kainz. Grijic. Inuzovic. Oh, Hirovic wasn't concentrating. Oh. Did he just give away a, cor a corner for absolutely no reason? Okay. Inuzovic. Okay, Hirovic, blast it. Have a shot. No. Kainz, have a shot. Oh. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have had a shot, actually. I second, second thoughts. Um, Gustinson. No, no, no. Right, it's time to take Johansson off. And it is time to bring the young lad, Egestein, on. He's going to do it. I've got a feeling. Egestein's going to do it. He was there. He was in the mix then. Was that just straight out? It's not a corner, is it? No. Mm. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's see what's happening with the ratings. No. Good God, that was close. No. Drop me. Yeah. No, no, there's too many people there. Too many of their players in the penalty area. Why are you letting them get there? Grijic is just picked up a little bit. What can we do? Inuzovic. I try where he's offside. Okay. What can we do here? Right. 
I am going to <clears throat> I'm going to go a little bit more attacking by putting moving these two forward a little bit and that will mean that I might want to make these slightly more defensive no ball winning midfielder defend I think and actually what I can do because Delaney can also play there. Let's just go for it for the last the last 10 minutes or so. What time are we on? 81. Let's just go for it. Centre midfield will do, do me. Oh, he can't really play that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's just go for it. Right. It's all out now. Um, you're going to have to be defensive centre back. Defend. I'll do. You can stay as you are, um, and you're going to have to be, oh God, this is bad, stopper, no, just go back to just defender, central defender, defend, which you can't seem to do. In fact, like, what, what am I doing? We've got substitutes. Um, no, we haven't. Did I make all my substitutes? Oh yeah, because we had the injury. Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is a risk. This is a big risk. But fuck it. Let's let's go for it. Five minutes to try and take control. Why is that formation not changed on here? Has it not happened yet? Yeah, it's happened now. Okay. History array. Yunuzovic, Delaney, Traore, back to Grujic, to Egerstein, to Kainz, to Grujic, to Kainz, come on, oh, corner, come on, 87 minutes, let's do this, Yunuzovic, oh god, it would be so good to score now, Egerstein, the youngster, picks out Augustinsson, Moisander, oh, and that's a foul, that's a free kick, We've got a chance here. Let's encourage them. Uh, Harovic, no. Okay. Oh, Harovic was offside. Yeah, okay. Someone injured? No. Oh, going to be a draw, isn't it? Traore. We're putting pressure on, though. We're putting pressure on. Come on, Hirovich. Get it in. Delaney! Oh, what a story that would have been if Delaney had scored. Yunuzovic. Stop having a shot, Yunuzovic. Oh, God. The amount of free kicks, he's spooned. Here's Heinz Beans. It's a new no being caught. <laughs> Jojic. Grijic. Hirovich. He can take them all on. Oh, that's a foul. Come on, ref. Heinz Beans. Come on. Just just one more chance. It's not going to happen, is it? They're happy to keep the ball, it looks like. Or maybe not. They want to give it back to us. Oh, full time. Well... That was a bit of a letdown, really. Nil-nil. I think we could have won that. Um, towards the end, that little formation tweak, maybe if I'd done that sooner, we would have we would have done all right. Um, I'm not happy with the performance, but I'm not going to bollock them either. Um, what do I say? I'm just going to say that wasn't good enough. We should have won that match. It's always hard to know what to, what to say in those kind of things because you, you kind of... It doesn't make sense to assertively say certain things, you know. It's, it's just weird. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at this and then we'll get going. Cologne held out for the draw. Yeah, lucky Cologne. Oh, Castan, how long is he injured for? 10 to 13 days. We can deal with him. And now we also know uh, that we have a good replacement. Uh, so that's pretty decent in Delaney. Post-match press conference. How big a moment was Florian Kainz late miss that could have seen you win the match? Passionate. Oh, it would have been nice for him to score. We felt we were the better team. It's true. 
Grijic is always terrific. He's amazing. Unbeaten record maintained. Ah, we've got a bug Frieda offer from Celtic. 1.1 million. I'll fucking take it. Club needs the money from the transfer. Accept all offers of higher or equivalent fee. Yeah. Great. So yeah, that's it. That's it for now. Our next game is in the Cup and it's Bayern Munich. As I said um, before, you know, the Cup is something I really want to concentrate on. So I'm really looking forward to that. I want to, I want to beat them. I want to beat them bad. That's it. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, next game is going to be Bayern Munich. Please do follow, uh, subscribe, follow. That's like Twitter, isn't it? Yeah, well, follow me on Twitter as well. It's uh, jimg underscore fm. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment if you've got any comments. I'm sure you've got plenty. Uh, don't leave any nasty ones, please. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been it's been really great. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Bye. Thank you.